Max and Min were stuck at home one rainy day. The good news was that Grandma was visiting and she had a great idea. Let's see what we have around the house that we can use to make models, just like we used to when you were little. That's a great idea, agreed the twins. What kind of things should we look for? Well, said Grandma, we will probably find some boxes, some balls and empty toilet paper rolls, amongst other things. And when we find these things, we will call each solid object by its correct mathematical name, okay? We may as well learn while we have our fun. So Max and Min and Grandma searched through the house until they had a very good collection of solid objects to use for their models, which they put on the floor to have a closer look at. Okay, said Grandma. Each of these closed boxes have six faces or flat surfaces, which are rectangles or squares. A closed box that has six square faces is called a cube. Any other closed box with six faces, some or all of which are rectangular, is called a rectangular prism. Here we have a few tennis balls. The mathematical name for a ball, which has a perfectly round surface, is sphere. The closed tube that the tennis ball came in is called a cylinder. You can see that this cylinder has two flat surfaces, that is the lid and the bottom of the tube, and one curved surface in between. Toilet paper rolls and tin cans are also cylinders. Finally, we have these plastic cones which you use at soccer practice. A solid cone has one flat surface at the bottom and one curved surface above it. We also have ice cream cones. Max and Min were really glad their grandma was visiting that day. They thanked her for teaching them the proper names for the solid shapes they found. Then they all spent the next few hours together making and painting all sorts of fun models. See if you can find cubes, rectangular prisms, spheres, cylinders and cones around your home. You can watch this video again or try the quiz and look at the chart that comes with this video.